at the end of the last video, I said we were going to do a bunch of worked examples. But before we get there, we need to answer the question, what about tan? Now, you already know that this coordinate here uh, is cos theta sine theta. So you need to ask yourself, but what about the tan ratio? I've got a cosine ratio, a sine ratio. Where does the tan ratio fit into all of this? Well, remember that the reason this is cos theta and sine theta is because this length here is equal to cos theta and this length here is equal to sine theta. So when I generalize that, what do I get? Well, remember that tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. And now let's look at our triangle. The length of the opposite side of our triangle is equal to sine theta, which means that tan theta is equal to the opposite side, which is sine theta, over the adjacent side, which is cos theta. And so this video is going to be pretty short because the only thing you need to see here is that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And when we're looking at our unit circle, tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. This is going to have implications in our next video when we do do those worked examples because as we move into quadrant 2, when we do sine theta divided by cos theta, we're going to get tan theta. And tan theta is going to be negative because one of those values is negative. When we move into quadrant 3, sine theta and cos theta are both going to be negative, which means that when we divide one by the other, which is tan theta, it's going to be positive. And when we move into quadrant 4, sine theta divided by cos theta, in this instance, sine theta is going to be negative, so tan theta is also going to be negative. So, Tan theta is going to be positive in here, negative in here, positive in here, and negative in here. Now, it might seem like I'm glossing over this. I'm not writing down a bunch of notes. I want you to get the basic idea of this, the fact that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. And I promise in the next video, we're going to do a bunch of worked examples and come up with some easy ways to put all of this together.